content is for informational and educational purposes only. You should not construe any such information or other material as legal, tax, investment, financial, or other advice. Nothing contained here constitutes a solicitation, recommendation, endorsement, or offer to buy or sell any securities or other financial instruments whatsoever by Draper Gorin Blockchain, aka DGB, the presenter, or other associated parties for the content being provided. Please do your own due diligence and seek proper counsel. Boom! We got <laughs> Bit Savage in here. He, you popped in while we were playing the uh, <laughs> uh, the intro, so that was pretty <laughs> radical. Um, uh, Rankin and I were were talking about random NFTs before we went live. Nice, Welcome, nice. everyone, uh, dude. Greetings from New Zealand. We got James on here, uh, Jim, uh, from New Zealand. Wait. 6 a.m. That's dedication. Thanks for waking up. He's dedicated. Uh, He's dedicated. He's a dedicated Love. man. Um, and uh, I'm I'm super super stoked uh, to have Bit Savage on. Welcome. Oh wait, before before I go, wait. Did, <laughs> we never do the homework part. If you want to learn more about DGB, go to dgb.vc at DGB Ventures everywhere. Um, pitch us your company. Come hang out with us. Um, we haven't named this show yet. We we should we we. It's been like this long running joke where we've been calling it the DGB show and saying we're just gonna call it the DGB show. Um, but I feel like we we need to do it soon so proper that we name. can be more proper. But bit savage. Nice. You can go rank in your best season. Yeah, I'm gonna say uh, one idea that I got from a friend was uh, non nomin. The what? Non nomin. N O N, and then. N O M E N, which means no name. Non nomen. <laughs> no right. But it's it's like <laughs> I had to ask you like three times what you meant. It reminds yeah. me of I used to have my um my Twitter address and all of my online things uh be anonymous. Like I, mm. it, I just at one point thought that, that was, was kind of cool. neat, like when yeah. I was like young or something and i and i started doing that but then when started talking to people about these things in real life be like <laughs> anonymous be like oh sweet anonymous be like no anonymous they're like uh what and like then you have to like say it like four times and i realized i could just try to get my name uh instead of some some weird silly thing and then uh that's that's what ended up happening but um but i'm i'm stoked to have you on um uh because Bit Savage, do we go? We'll go by Bit Savage, or you use your real name on stuff. Bit Savage, Bit Savage. Mark. Bit Savage. Hey, okay, I just wasn't sure. I wasn't gonna say. It. So, uh, Mark uh, is an OG in the uh, crypto space at this point. We've been hanging out at events yeah. in real life for years now. Um, we we hung out uh, the other day, uh, IRL, for the first time in in forever. Yeah, and um, <laughs> you were talking to me about rune stones and, and, and <laughs> bitcoin and ordinals and i thought oh crap we should have a uh, bit savage on to talk to talk to us about ordinals and, and just hang out in general um but why don't you give everyone a background of who who you are um definitely, and we'll definitely. Have, by the way we'll have bit savage on to talk about a project well he'll tell us a little bit but he he's working on some stuff we'll have him on more as probably like our ordinals go to let's do uh, it guy, but uh <laughs> this was really last minute literally texted him like half an hour ago so we got no agenda other than hanging out nice, but tell nice. everyone who, who you are we're here live at the ordinals hangout <laughs> yeah that's right no no so yeah bit savage uh i mean we can go to the beginning to when it all started <laughs> oh no no so so my background is is art is fashion is film um i've been in la you know in the street art scene uh, doing video cinematography, so all that you know, creative stuff. Found out about Bitcoin. I call it the second wave. So if you know about the halvings, you know the first halving yeah. is 2012, second halving is 2016. So the second halving is like when Bitcoin kind of captured my attention, and then I just went on hiatus from creating. I stopped creating, <laughs> and so 2017, that whole year, just started learning, 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 studying. Um, kind of faded Bitcoin. Uh, and I was like, I was researching Bitcoin, Ethereum, just uh, my, my goal was to say, you know what, the future is multi-chain. So when I got into the industry, I knew multi-chain was coming. Um, so at the end of the year, that's kind of when I looked at what, what events were happening. 
I saw, you know, Alon, Blockchain Beach, different things are happening. So I had a good nine to 10 months of just studying and learning. And uh, then when I go meet people, they don't really know a lot about, I'm like, you guys don't know nothing. What is going on? <laughs> so I became like an advisor, consultant. <clears throat> so I kind of, you know, made my own path just from learning and um, found out about crypto kitties. <clears throat> so then I got into NFTs early and people thought I was crazy. Like, what is it? NFT. You, you are crazy. <laughs> yeah. no, I, <laughs> I, I think I said this to Rankin earlier. He's like, he's like, you know, uh, I'm, I'm still buying cats. Yeah, still buying cats. <laughs> exactly. So he said something about being crazy earlier, and I literally, <laughs> right within 30 seconds of going live, I said, "Well, you are still crazy. It's just still. you know, you, we can be crazy and right. You know what I mean? That's but, true. Yeah, <laughs> I call it, I call it a visionary. You know, because some visionaries may be delusional. That's they better be marketing. crazy. And, and hey, once said, vision is scary. <laughs> Not yet. So, so what I had was I got a enough tease. I said, as a creator, this feels good. So I started creating again. Morning. Oh, hold on, let me. Can y'all take over a second? Yeah, 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 yeah. Just hit mute. Yeah. So, so Bit Savage was was early. He uh, he you know he was saying something about uh, 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 fashion, right? But like he was the dude who was showing up to uh, to the Bitcoin crypto nerd bomber events wearing like a cool leather jacket that he had like painted on and done stuff. It reminded me of like the punk jackets of all my friends that I grew up with, except for his had like crypto stuff on it and, and cool art on it that was not related to punk rock. So, I, you know. Probably cornered him talking about it a bunch of times. I, and, uh, I wonder oh, how many people got introduced from crypt by crypto kitties into this space. Yeah, I mean, yeah, that was that was big for a lot of people. I mean, that was how I first discovered you know the utility I, of eat. Right. Mm. I don't think though. I don't think that it brought outsiders into crypto. I think yeah. it got the crypto. I, I think it got like the crypto. Uh, uh, like maybe people who are starting to get into tokens and stuff, yeah. like like yeah. trading tokens. But it got some Bitcoiners and some crypto people into the idea of NFTs and collectibles, yeah. right? And I think it satisfied like a certain part of us, like the ones of us who like to collect stuff, right? Like comic books, baseball cards whatever you did when you were a kid yeah, it was yeah. like oh shit here we go we could use crypto for crypto. For, for this stuff right it became money once we played with crypto kitties <laughs> yeah so so i said okay we can make art we can be creative we can use nfts got into engine and i was like me i'm like i'm a people person so i'm taking the tech and i'm taking it to the world and i'm telling people uh, this is this is what you can do. Here's how you can get in, interactive with it. And I, I just my mind went off into different tangents of how to use NFTs. Crazy. Um And then you know there's there's hype cycles, bull bear market ups and downs. And 2022, it was kind of like the end of the bear market. People were like just trudging along. People were leaving. They're like, I'm, I'm out of here. <laughs> and I'm like, I'm a builder. You know, I've been building a platform called Adore uh, for creators to mint and do things. And then I saw Ordinals come. I almost faded Ordinals, but I was like, I can be creative on Bitcoin. And then I just, I went full force. So I was one of the early ones, I'm getting lots of airdrops now because I'm a builder. So builders went and, and we were launching a project now to build a community for Ordinals and Runes. And we're keeping it simple. You know, we want to teach people so they can learn, have fun. And, and that's what we're up to. Yeah. Heck, heck yeah. Um, oh, that reminds me. I got to take the uh, thing you sent me and put it in here. Oh, I can't. Okay. I got to find it. Oh, yeah. We um, got an honorary for you. Yeah. Text yeah you. You, sent, you texted me, but I don't have it on. Uh, it didn't download properly on my computer. So I'm going to send it, resend it to myself right now on the computer. But um, uh, I think the, um, you know, you, you mentioned because you're a builder um, and you did ordinal stuff earlier, getting airdrops and all that. I didn't participate in ordinals early because it, it <laughs> felt, I, I think I told you this, like it feels sacrilegious in some weird way to spend Bitcoin, right? That's how I feel in, too. In, in, it's been framed with Ethereum from the beginning right? I, yeah. There was stuff to do with it. And so there's a, there isn't that emotional attachment to it in the same way. Um, although, you know, I, I still 
think of uh, Bitcoin and ETH as savings like really long term, but I'll use some to do something, right? Or there'll be a certain amount in a certain wallet that's meant I for see. I haven't done that with Bitcoin, so I didn't yes. get there. But, but where I was going is something I've always said to people about this space. And, you know, even if you just think about participating because you'll you'll learn something that I think is important for potential jobs of the future and, and learning and stuff like that. What's really cool about this space, aside from participation, uh, um, you know, teaching you and and you learning a lot and and doing uh, oh so cute man. Um, <laughs> um, uh, my kids are, are are a little older now. They don't just they won't just hang on me like that and sleep. Um, you know, uh, and um, you know, aside from learning, right? You actually get rewarded, and not just like a rewarded like with some kind of token thing, right? I'm using tokens not in the word we mean to but like in actual yeah. something that can be valuable and then you participate with that and it, it kind of snowballs into into you know where where we are today so it's yeah. pretty pretty radical that that you started playing with the ordinals early I, I wish that i had for a bunch of different reasons but now i'm Ooh. starting to 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 goof around and learn so tell me tell yeah. me what's what okay you were trying to explain to me over breakfast the difference between because ordinals are basically like putting an nft into a sat into a specific bitcoin right yeah, uh, or into file, a, yeah. a fraction of a bitcoin As but a you were talking yeah. about how rune is going to be a little different or it's not a layer two but it's kind of a layer two you can you explain it a little more or maybe maybe we should start with what the heck is an ordinal <laughs> What's an ordinal? Um, yeah. Hey, yeah you start with ordinals ordinals is inscribing information onto a satoshi so you could do, it could be a file, uh, image, HTML, JSON. You're taking data and putting it onto a Satoshi. So you still have the Bitcoin. Um, and you're just like coloring on a dollar bill. So you still got the dollar bills. You're just coloring on them. Um, and then the cool thing about Ordinal, so Casey, you know, Rodermore is the creator of the Ordinal theory. So technically all Satoshis have a rarity. There's rare Satoshis, uncommon Satoshis. So you can take all your Bitcoin and kind of panhandle them, see if you got any rare Satoshis. And then, so people, that's that's a market right now, you know, Satoshi hunters, for rare, rare Satoshis. And then you can put art on these rare Satoshis. So you're like stacking just value. You're stacking uh, content and people, they'll spend their Bitcoin on it. And that's, what, that's what's happening in Ordinals. Uh, runes. So you're here for runes. You, you didn't miss out. Yeah, they're, they're not launched yet. They're having. Like, this well, there having, was some rune. There was something with rune stones and something like this weekend that somebody <laughs> was was tweeting at me. So I tagged you on it. But what's? Oh yeah, It's yeah. just beginning, right? Yeah. So rune stone. Um, one guy, Leonidas. He was like, uh, "There's a few projects. They airdropped these rune miners." You know, you hold them, and you're pre-mining yeah. runes that aren't even locked yet. So Leonidas didn't like that. He said, oh, this should be fair. So he kind of took a snapshot of everyone that participated in the first year of Ordinals. And um, this the, it wasn't the best snapshot. You know, you can't be perfect. Yeah. But everyone that had more than three Ordinals, uh, and it's not even people, it's wallets. So we don't know yeah. if someone had 10 wallets or 100 wallets. Um, so it was the wallets. And Lots then, of people do that, by the way, right? Like people in, in I know people that would do that kind of thing. Like, oh, there's a new chain, Arbitrum. I'm going to yeah, yeah. do a few transactions on chain from like 20 different wallets yeah. and hope that I get an airdrop to, to all 20 or whatever, right? Well, yeah, no, go ahead. well, so Bitcoin is supposed to be fungible. So like you have these sats in your wallet. How do you know that you're not swapping out the sat that has the ordinal or the inscription or whatever you know we're talking about? I mean, what wallets are people using? How are they controlling yeah. so that you're not like spending that sat that you just inscribed or whatever? Right. Yeah, so some of the main wallets are like Xverse. There's Xverse uh, web wallet and a mobile wallet. Uh, you got Magic Eden has a, a web wallet. Don't know if they have mobile. Um, Unisat is a wallet, but that's a little tricky for Unisat because you kind of manually go to your Taproot address or your Bitcoin address. So that's what it is. You have a Bitcoin address, yeah, which is I think begins with a three or a number. Then you have a Taproot address, which is like BC1P. 
So your ordinals go to your taproot address. Um, and the ordinals, they have padding. So you can add more Satoshis to the ordinal so you can send it around. You have Satoshis to send so you don't spend your ordinal. Um, but okay. since they have it separated, you don't really need that padding. Um, so it's all about the wallet. And yeah, you can, people do spend their their uh, ordinals. So like on Xverse wallet, because you you told me to, to get a test, set up a test wallet when we were mm -hmm. hanging out together. I see that there is like the section for collectibles. The only yep. NFTs I have in here are ones from Stacks right now. So like my, oh, yeah, Nakamoto, my, my Nakamoto one NFTs. Yeah. But if I received an inscription mm -hmm. and I had it in here, it would technically be a sat. Right. Yeah. But would it show up under my Bitcoin on my total balance on the Bitcoin page? So like it if will, I, yeah, yeah, they'll they'll read them as two different uh, amounts. So okay, cool. Bitcoin, so I won't like if I go Bitcoin. on the magic if I go on the magic Eden to buy a new uh, inscription or something, I'm not going to spend gonna that Bitcoin yeah. uh, that has an inscription on it for the new one by mistake yep. or something. They'll have. If you have Bitcoin on there, it'll show the Bitcoin amount. If you don't, it'll say zero, even though you have ordinals. Yeah, I see. I see zero on here. Uh, yeah. uh, cool. It's cool. I'm gonna. I'm gonna experiment. What's the best way? Like, I'm not gonna go to my, you know, hardware wallets and move Bitcoin <laughs> here. So, what's the best way to swap and receive some Bitcoin in here without spending fiat? Like, can I? Do you have any tools you like from like Ethereum to to Bitcoin or or anything like that? I remember so, there used to be a few, but I haven't done it. Uh, yeah, to Bitcoin Magic Easy. Forever. Magic Eden allows you to swap in the wallet, so you can swap Ethereum oh, or Solana, Solana to Bitcoin. Gotcha. So Magic Eden uh, has that feature. Yeah. Cool. Yes, cool. indeed. That's, that's um, super cool. So, so wait. So the rune, the difference between the rune, the rune stuff, and an inscription. Yeah. So, so rune, so rune stone is an ordinal. That's what was airdropped. Oh. Rune stone, and it's like almost like a promise to pay. You know, you hold the rune stone. Um, there's going to be a snapshot. Then after the having. You can claim or there'll be airdrops of runes. And so runes are their numbers that can be placed on UTXOs. And that's how Bitcoin operates with UTXOs. Yeah. And it's, it's a lot different than it being on a Satoshi. Okay. Um, so this is how they explain it to me. A UTXO is almost like a wallet. So when you have UTXOs, you send in Bitcoin, but you can stack multiple runes on one UTXO. So it gets kind of tricky now. It's like okay, uh, it's almost like a, a eleven, uh, an ERC eleven fifty five contract. It's right. So like one that. one contract or one token ID, but there could be multiple editions or something on, uh, on top or, of or something like that. I'm trying to think of a comparable. Not that anyone needs that comparison. Um, yes, <laughs> it's a complicated. <laughs> it's how, yeah, yeah, um, I'm overcomplicating it. No, yeah. So that's, that's kind of why I'm launching the collection to keep it simple. Because right now, people kind of know about ordinals. Runes are not, not even live, so people don't know how they're going to work, how to send them. And I'm like, you know what? I want to learn to make the mistakes and show others. Because uh, uh, Casey, you know, he has a small team making runes, the rune protocol. And they're like, they have to figure out how you can send them. It's almost like, you know, the op return, um, the output transaction. So Bitcoin get broadcasted. You're sending these amount of runes. This is what's returning back to your wallet. And if you have multiple rooms, you know, how do they all get uh, right, so saved into the into the wallet? So it can, it can be a little messy. It's a gray area. It's, it's, it's new technology. So it's going to, it may break. So yeah. <laughs> uh, It's going to be pretty fun. So you're going to do a room. You're working on a room drop. Yeah. So we're releasing our room collection. Uh, the company's Ordinal 625, which plays off the lore of Bitcoin. Um, right now, there's 6.25 Bitcoin as a reward, mining reward, when you uh, secure a block. So miners get 6. Point, they're, they're like fighting for 6.25 Bitcoins. And then after happening, that goes in half to 3.125. Yeah. So you know, deflationary. So our collection, our, we have a trilogy. The first of this trilogy is called Spirit Miners. And these spirits, you know, there's six main animals, six spirit animals. And they're here to just help people come into the space. This might be some people's first ordinal. You know, we're keeping the price low, uh, 100 bucks for OG, under 200 for 
you know, public and whitelist. So keeping the price low, and we're right. aiming at. So, so hold on. So you, uh -huh. each 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 uh, NFT is a spirit animal. And, they are. and <laughs> are you trying to say that my spirit animal is uh, oh, is, is, is this go. ape? That's your spirit. This, my this, uh, uh, yeah. Uh, <laughs> Biz Savage sent this to me, uh, texted this to me a few days nice. ago, and and I was off with the family, so I didn't get a chance <laughs> to post anything about it yet. But I think nice. this is gonna this is definitely gonna have to be my PFP at least. It for looks a like a boss <laughs> right there. Uh, boss minor. But I mean, I mean, I say it's like looking in a mirror, right? Same dude. Really nice. nice. Yeah. So the artist we got, I don't know if you know Pixel or the Chimpers. So he's like one of the He's elite ours for the Chimpers community. So what like, are the four spirit animals uh, that you were talking about? Six. Sorry, six I interrupted. Six of them. Six. six. No, six. Ooh. We got, well, we got a bear, a fox, a, a tiger, a frog, a chimp, and a sloth. All right. No bull, huh? That may come in the next. We got, we got, it's a trilogy. So the bull could come. Oh, a trilogy. Yeah. I see. You gotta, you gotta save. Uh, Stay right for the right part of the cycle. <laughs> so you got so the spirit is good it might be some demons the demon bulls next we'll see um so yeah so we're launching the ordinals and then we're saying hold the ordinal after the having you can claim you know, claim some runes and we're going to keep it simple um but we're also building on the rune protocol so there's different things you can do with runes um so like say if we had you know the spirit minor rune you're holding 100 you can power up your ordinal, you know, different levels. So you can gamify it. Um, it's possible rune royalties, you know, allowing with with runes. So there's just some cool things to just build with the technology, and that's that's our approach. That's gonna be pretty fun. We're gonna have to get. Uh, uh, we're gonna have to um, uh, dive into this and and learn more when you when you launch your thing. So. So for first question, I guess I mean first question after I asked a bunch of questions. Right? <laughs> uh, do do we need to get a rune stone or is that just like a cool OG early? Uh, it's it's pretty expensive. I was just looking. Uh, so I think three thousand dollars. Dang. So that's uh, that's an ETH <laughs> or so. Well, yeah, uh, by the ETH. Yeah, you're right. That's a couple. That's a couple of cool cats. Um, <laughs> oh man. <laughs> and and here's the thing too. So we have. We're targeting, I think we had like, we started marketing like two or three weeks ago and we've got over a hundred, 150 communities, you know, reach out to us. And we're kind of, we're filtering through, you know, how we want to allocate spots. Uh, so, you know, we're getting the bigger communities, but the bigger communities may flip, may, whatever. We're trying to see what small, medium communities like really want to get in here because they can't, they might not be able to afford a room stone. Um, so we yeah. definitely want to, on our own team wallet, have some room stones that possibly airdrop or use them as giveaways, you know, to, to others who can't afford a rune stone. So we have. So, so like, cause you have to have a rune stone to do like the first initial, uh, uh, drop you said. Is yeah. That, so what so for what be? we heard for rune stone is there'll be a snapshot. So we don't know when that snapshot is possibly at the happening or after having, um, but you just hold it and you'll get, be able to claim or get the airdrop for our runes. Sounds like a lot might be fumbling in a little bit. <laughs> I'm just <laughs> trying to learn and understand because What's going here's, on right here's the thing. I think I told you this. Um, we haven't had Mati on here yet, have we? I talk to him every couple of weeks, so I don't remember. So Mati, no, we haven't had him on on the DGB show yet. But um, okay, you know, we need to have a a, a hang sesh with Mati Greenspan. He's an early nice. crypto trader. He understands like the markets and and trading like. Okay. prior to crypto better than than probably any of us and he's just that that guy right he understands it but he uh was joking with me like a month ago going you gotta buy these ordinals but that was that oh, ordinals. Wow. he's like he's like he's like i learned my lesson when mm. you told me to buy an ape early and i didn't uh. do it and he's like so these ordinals you gotta buy one because i bought a bunch early bought some frogs or something i don't even okay. know what it was he was yeah. all stoked about it and uh and then uh, I started texting again with uh, with Bit Savage over here, and and he's like telling me about <laughs> ordinals and rune stones, and and you know when a few of your friends start telling you these things, you're like, man, I, I should listen. But it feels <laughs> the problem is 
even being like early yeah in certain things and i could be totally wrong i might not be it feels like you're late right because we've all so and and to go to say like this runestone is three thousand dollars or like a whole eth or you know any amount of bitcoin seems crazy right yeah so but at the same time we've we've all had those moments in the space where we thought something was crazy and it was just the beginning or or something like that it, it could also be you feel that way too when it's the end you feel like <laughs> oh man when when you get hit peak fomo it can go both directions right um yeah so you just got to be careful I'm, I'm just no. trying to learn and understand how, how it all works. Uh, but Savage, are you 100% like ordinals in the Bitcoin space now, or are you still doing NFTs on Ethereum? I remember, listen, right now, the main show is Bitcoin. This is the having year. Yeah. <laughs> For me, it's like it makes sense to build a foundation on Bitcoin. You know, yeah. Ethereum, base chain, layer two, they, they can all come. You know, they'll be there. Um, but it makes sense to get a, get a good position, be a, you know early mover. No, I'm not. I'm not a huge company. I'm not open to your magic Eden, yeah. but I'm paying attention to the technology. So if I can implement the technology faster than they can, it's called the great equalizer. <laughs> yeah. No, I think there's gonna be a big move towards Bitcoin this year. Yeah, I feel like um, Bitcoin has been like tamed, been held back. Yeah. I feel like this having it may it wants to rip. <laughs> yeah. So like, yeah. get off me. <laughs> it's 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 pretty it's it's crazy to wake up every morning to you know like the bitcoin alerts and everything also just to to look at things and people go like oh man bitcoin had a bad day it's down five percent <laughs> and just looking at it going like what, what, what are, are you talking, talking about? about like it doesn't make yeah. any sense you're like oh we're only up 130 percent this year or whatever oh, um but i mean even that you can you look at and it was you know uh that doesn't make sense right like imagine if the first time we hung out like sometime around 2017 or so um uh somebody told us there would be a day when bitcoin was 10k <laughs> yeah. Like, yeah we'd be like yeah okay okay dude you know like we would have been there's still you know a much higher chance it would never reach that in our minds that moment we we hung right now i but I then, think bitcoin uh, was 700 dollars when I first found about it. Yeah. So I've got some, uh, um, now you, you bought a lot more, huh? <laughs> of course. Well, or, or any, to... or any at that time, right? Well, think about it. everyone learned about it and went like, Oh, I, at least for me, I was talking about it. Right. We had an yeah, event, one yeah, of those 805 startups events. And uh -huh. it was like, uh, I think like 500 bucks at the time, but we were talking oh, wow. about at the time, just like always, there was some kind of conflict the in the time. Middle East or something. <laughs> and, um, uh, you know, what's new? But there was bombs were being dropped on Iran or something like that at some point oh, right before man. or after this event. And I remember talking about it going, look, Bitcoin trades at local Bitcoins and whatever the different sites yep, were back then Bitcoins. at oh. a way higher price in those areas and bombs are being dropped. Wow. I would wow. go, that's that's yeah. big that's the value i talked about freedom right and and mm. all that but i bought it thinking it was like an investment opportunity i uh, see for, for many years uh, after that right i don't remember anything else that was going on in the world of the year but i absolutely remember my friend back in the day was using bitcoin for poker sites Whoa. and trying to, and trying to get me to buy a hundred dollars worth when it was like four hundred dollars <laughs> right and, and I was like, no, I'm going to put my money in my Roth IRA and keep, keep, keep doing that. You know? I'm like, and now oh, I'm looking at it going, that seems like it was the stupidest thing I've ever made. But, but your friend, your, yeah, but, but your friend wasn't buying Bitcoin because it was a good investment. He was buying Bitcoin because no, he, he was, was, a, using he was it. a gambler, right? He was, he was gambling. Was yeah. <laughs> for gambling. So it was, That's probably... it was an irresponsible purchase for an irresponsible thing, at least. Yeah, but that, that mind, was back right? in the day when you could earn one Bitcoin playing poker a night. Oh, wow. Wow. Yeah. They, they say that's why Bitcoin, that, that first 10,000 Bitcoin transaction probably was something other than pizza. It was. <laughs> I heard that. I heard that. Yeah. Um, yeah. But yeah, so the way I see it is as a person. So I, I, I see crypto, Bitcoin as like this, this personal journey. And if you can pay attention to your life, you can say, okay, in my life, there's, there's windows of opportunities. And if you just pay attention, then you say, okay, now life is getting easier. 
because I'm paying attention to these windows of opportunities. You know, I didn't get in Bitcoin, but hey, I got into Ethereum or hey, I got into Ordinals or hey, I got into Runes. So just being, a, it's just a level of awareness of what's happening. And being first, right? I mean, you get the benefit from everybody else that comes in afterwards if you're early for something. Everyone's, li they're, uh, what's it called? Liquidity. When they come in, it's time to get out. <laughs> no, no. I'm here you to have, no, or you have a passion for this space. I mean, I've got way yeah, too many okay. NMDs. <laughs> oh my, I got now. Uh, we all do. Yeah, we, all, we all do. So, <laughs> well, we should, I mean, I kind of was thinking it would be a cool to to jump into some some of these ideas and thoughts uh, it, in relation to NFTs in the future and, and explore some of it with okay. uh, with bit savage too but like dude rankin yeah are any of the metaverses uh enabling uh ordinals within them yet either no, like no, can no. we can you in any of your metaverses uh be displaying ordinals uh That's like you question. can no, I, don't uh, think it, I don't know of any yet i think there's two or three it's very few there's like two or three of them who um bitmaps there's a project on bitmaps Map, They're okay. doing something. Um, there is, uh, I have to find the other ones, but it's, there's so few that I don't even, I, I'm kind of fading them. I'm like, who cares about that? But I shouldn't fade them. <laughs> I should go. Well, the thing them. is, I think people did, I think the way that they were able to make a lot of money um, and the way that metaverses have been rolled out um, yeah. were done that way to make money mm, and not I actually see. done in a way to make an actual usable product and, yeah, and yeah. grow unity, right? So like true. you can't you look at like um uh and and who knows what'll what'll come next. Yeah, I don't right? think but all like, of them are like that. I don't think all no, of them. No, not all of them. But if you not look all. at at the fact that like I don't know, Decentraland, they must have made a ton of money selling the oh, NFT. Yeah. They yeah. uh yeah. they you know sandbox same way. And the products are fine, but not great. Like, but it's early still. If you look yeah. at it, like a, any company, right? But yeah. if the if my barrier to entry is owning a piece of land, and I'm yeah. a game developer, a young game developer that likes making Roblox games or something, yeah, that's already a reason not to participate, right? Yeah. And those are the people you need to attract the most. The people that are going to create experiences that make us want to stay and stick around, right? So mm -hmm. like. So to me, that that's a problem. I want a metaverse where anyone can come and build cool things, but the you know the mechanisms exist for Web three, right? Like so, you can display your NFTs, or you can earn NFTs in the game, or the the tokens you earn in the game are actual tokens that you can then swap somewhere else for another game, you know, and and that kind of stuff. We we talked about it a little bit the other day, right? But the I talk about this all the time, but that's what I want, right? Well, I don't want. I, but I think yeah. I think it goes a different direction. I think I personally think the metaverse has always been like, okay, you're going to get the Nikes, the Disney's, the big name brands who are going to buy these metaverse plots, and then they're going to build experiences within them that are then attract the consumer to come to these things. Yeah, yeah, but but like, <laughs> yeah. look, you know what? Uh, uh, Chipotle what has chipotle has crashed roblox right because they've oh, done wow. things where you go into their game and if you do a nice. certain thing you get a free burrito right oh, like cool. they've done stuff like that yeah they've done it in the past and like share that obviously i need to, I need to get my daughter <laughs> yeah <laughs> <laughs> we're, we're uh, uh gua yeah <laughs> the joke like like we're 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 adding guac this week right like we guac. had a good week like guac at chipotle is like that's five bucks to a burrito or something. <laughs> Everything's expensive. Maybe not that much. But quite a bit. There's um, there's a song uh by a band called the Vandals that that mm. my kids like. That is funny. It's uh, it's called Money's Not an Issue, and the whole nice. song is about this dude who finds the twenty bucks he thought he lost under the sofa, and mm. uh, so then he's talking about you know taking his wife out tonight, and you know feel free to supersize, you know. We're nice, nice. tonight. That's huh? what made me think about, you know, we're getting guac today. Um, but um <laughs> but but no, like that that kind of stuff does happen, but you need to like there needs to be a hundred seventeen year old kids building yeah. cool casual yeah. games in these systems to to yeah. drive the the 
the the numbers and to create a bunch of experiences and and but or you could go the other direction you spend millions and millions and billions of dollars and have one really great game that drives mm. a lot but the game platforms like the Fortnite and the roblox and the things like that i think that's what needs a web3 version and none mm. of the metaverses are, are there yet in my opinion they could they could shift there or somebody could build one or we could build one um let's you know, do it. <laughs> it it reminds me of my younger days when playing counter-strike or world of warcraft the old versions and you just sit there and make maps right yeah and that's yeah. i mean even as a kid i was making maps all the time right i mean it was just yep. that was the cool thing it was the tools that allow you to make maps and i mean i literally played games because of that feature <laughs> yeah that is, that's the thing that. That's where Roblox really hit, I think. Conversation that it kind of has to be free. Like NFTs costing thousands of dollars. <laughs> no, like no. It's, it's happening now, but eventually it has to come like five, a dollar. You know, just everyone could get in for or free and then, you know, build upon that. Well, I think that's it, it, it's where, it yeah, it's where yeah. a lot of the games are going to go, right? Like it, the games that are using tokens as the you know imagine a token instead of robux or a token instead of yeah. uh, points right if you're using tokens as points uh or and nfts instead of eggs and nfts instead of pets and you know whatever in these different games you could imagine a vibrant economy where people are trading and moving from game to game and that's where it gets interesting and it doesn't well, have to be incredibly valuable it could be we're talking about for kids you know pennies or, or even less than a penny but they're they're stoked oh you got yeah, a, you got, got, a jersey. <laughs> got a jersey yeah, nice. I, got one. I got one for you, you gotta hook you over one along all right yeah, it got a little uh it. spirit on i like that it's orange yeah you got the spirit too that one's got the bull horns it might uh -huh. not be a bull uh like rankin was saying but it looks like it has bull horns but see, I, I like the Bitcoin orange mixed in. That's that's rad. That's yes, that's really cool. So well, so uh, it, it yeah. does it doesn't it does bring up an interesting thing, right? I think they got I think it's an ERC four hundred four now, right? For NFTs. Yeah. And, and these NFTs are the four hundred fours are like fractionable now. Got gotcha. you. Okay. They create a huge whole bunch of issues with the SEC now that you have a fractionable <laughs> NFT. I didn't I didn't touch them. I didn't touch the four hundred fours. <laughs> right. But the thing is, is that it. It technically does give you exposure if you can buy a fraction of an NFT. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, yeah, but it becomes different now. You're it's almost like just a uh, another another altcoin, uh, another yeah. coin, right? Like it's it's not necessarily the same same uh, thing, right? But I mean, we talked about it. Like I said, like hey, should I contribute my ape to an LLC and then go on Ooh. something like Republic and do a crowdfunding, regulated Ooh. crowdfunding raise for that mm. LLC that owns the I NFT see. and it makes you can't do it as like an investment. Like, but let's Maybe say part of that. that company, part of that company is um, no. I mean that you can't crowdfund for an investment company. That's like yeah. against the rules for crowdfunding, but. An ape is not an investment company. An ape can be an artist that has IP <laughs> and all of the stuff, right? You can easily make yeah, that that yeah. argument that, that my ape, your ape, right? We have uh, characters and we own IP rights and That's you're true. investing in the company that owns IP rights. And then you can have an army of people that not just own a piece of this company that the ape is a part of. So there is some underlying value, but also mm. is there to promote and purchase, promote ip stuff but also uh purchase the you know if if uh, a punk ape strong t-shirt is is at target everyone could go out that day and and post mm. about it on social media and go buy one right that's true um, and there's there's something to there's something to that idea that i think is cool but fractionalizing it just to fractionalize it i think yeah it's you gonna cause create problems. a security and then you you have you have problems right the dj's <laughs> the, yeah Although the DGENs add value in a speculative way, but not yeah. necessarily always in the best long long term way, right? So it's yeah. got to be uh, got to be super super careful, right? Yeah. Um, but like, I don't know. I'm I'm trying to think uh, if do you think the rune part of ordinals and stuff like that are going to make it more easy to transact, right? Because there is also heavy fees in relation to, to creating yeah. or 
ordinals and stuff like that right and all buying them is also expensive but that's that's secondary the fact that like if i want to create some ordinals i gotta invest serious bitcoin well so right now you know before the having if you want to make inscribe an ordinal it can cost anywhere between five to twenty dollars so it's not too crazy so i can i can i can mint an ordinal for 20 bucks you can describe yeah for 20 bucks how where what tools do you use for that let me um let me get you a link right now you can go Sweet. here okay everyone you heard this so uh <laughs> how, how much does it cost to transfer it like can i make like if i spend 20 bucks can i send you that ordinal for free or is there another fee to send it because I'll, uh, I'll make, I'll invest uh, a few hundred bucks and make some special punk ape strong ordinals and give them away. Um, but if it's, you know, hundreds of dollars then to transfer them also, and it creates some problems, then that's a little, you know. Well, well actually, I'm curious. can you transfer ahead. the individual set that the ordinals on from one of those wallets? Yes, you can. Yeah, actually, let me send you. So this is our MVP, but I want to send you another one because it gives you more of a... Uh, a good us oh this UI. is on on a door on your platform yeah we Hell got yeah. we're building we're building <laughs> what is yeah. what is the website what is the website so we can post that or yeah, i don't know if do you want to share it publicly yet or you you, you can it's live and uh, adores.org site or no that adores.org it's live um and i don't know how many people are watching it. is it a door a D O R S. So ordinal dot adores. A D O R S dot org. And so I'll have to connect. I'll have to connect with uh, with Xverse uh, wallet. Xverse. So that means it's it's available on mobile, or is there an Xverse wallet on? Uh, uh, there is Xverse available on mobile. Yep, it's the same one. No, no, the one I got is on mobile. Mm -hmm. But is does that mean I can make? this um wait so tell me tell me what's the if i i can inscribe so basically i can create an ordinal yeah so the workflow uh, is that right like there, right adores.org that's yes that's the main site adores.org the the okay. ordinal is ordinal.adores.org so it just had ordinal in the front okay uh so yeah so here's how you do it so like you said you can use magic eden wallet uh, we haven't installed magic eden wallet on ours there's other sites uh, or you can use like cash app or coinbase to get some bitcoin and send it to your Xverse wallet. So once you have Bitcoin yeah. in your Xverse wallet, then you can inscribe. Um, you'll see it in your Xverse wallet. And you can click send. And it takes like anywhere from two to five dollars to send. Um, it's like mining fees. So Bitcoin is run by yeah. you know, miners securing the network. Um, and that's so that's how it works. It's like so on Ethereum, you know, it's it's kind of the same thing. But Ethereum has gas. Sometimes the, the network gets congested. So what's the constraints? There are some constraints on ordinals um, with size files and stuff yeah, like that, right? Yeah, so file size. So a lot of these collections aims to keep file sizes small. There's actually a, a ordinal collection called Tiny Vikings, and their videos are like 150 bytes. Like they compressed incredible yeah. video footage to a tiny size. Um, so the thing is to stay tiny in Bitcoin, keep this file size small. And the biggest file you can do is four megabytes. So you got some default, but if I admit it, but if I if you make it smaller, is that going to be a smaller fee to do yeah. it, or it has nothing to do with the fee? Also, oh, okay. smaller size, smaller fee. Yes, um, and then so gotcha. so you have companies and artists on small or big, you know, depending on what you want to create. But then you got something called recursion, recursive, which means you can upload layers. So say if you have artwork, kind of like ours, we have different traits and layers. So I can upload just the glasses as one layer. That's going to be a very small size. Uh, so each trait can be small sizes. And then you can inscribe the inscription IDs as one whole image. Um, that's called recursive. Uh, gotcha. That's cool. Yeah. And there's also, you know, if you're using um, vector-based graphics for just images, vector, you get SVG, really, yep. really tiny um, very small. file size. But if I want to make, I was thinking to make a, a punk ape strong video, I'm going to have to find a way to make it look real <laughs> tiny or just yeah. an MP3. If you do just an MP3, there's no image attached to it though, right? That's so, true. Yeah. So Ghostface to, Killer. Uh, so actually there's two uh, musicians. I think French Montana did some music. Ghostface Killer has a free mint this week for music. Um, they're going to use uh, an ordinal freement Wu Tang ordinal. Uh, oh, oh, yeah, that's cool. It's coming up. How so? What is the best is file it? type to put on there for image? 
Uh, it depends what Probably you want. Probably SVG. If you SVG want to keep the file size real small, SVG WebP, is pretty radical. Yeah, WebP is good too. I think most people use WebP. Um, and there's there's a what, site called Tiny Converter. They can convert it to a WebP image. Um, and yeah, so nice. you, you can do images, you can do HTML, you can code an image, and that's even smaller if you code it. Uh, well, yeah, that's the SVGs are technically uh, coded yeah, if you look true. at the, uh, the thing. But but true. yeah, it's it. Maybe there's ways to even make it less. I don't know. Uh, that's rad. So I can. Uh, I'm gonna in inscribe something. I need to. I oh. want to make a music video. I don't know <laughs> how do to do it. Uh, I wonder if the animated version of Punk Ape Strong, if I if I made it real tiny, would still yeah, do be, that. Um, yeah, would still be better than if I just record a video and make it tiny because the quality would get real, real I'll tiny. See. But I'll, I'll think video. of something. Yeah, I did. You know, I I did the first ever Tezos <laughs> music NFT that ever existed. What? Um, uh, I did it on chain. I used it was before the first ever uh, marketplace platform on Tezos launched. It nice. was uh, using some open source code and the open source uh, system never actually got fully to production and okay. they never, they hadn't connected it yet to mainnet. So I had to, wow. I like goofed around. I figured out how to connect it to <laughs> uh -huh. mainnet and it worked. And I was like, oh nice. shit, it worked. I should That's do cool. something like I should to, to do it. And I wrote a song in like five minutes and recorded it. It was like a, a total joke kind of thing, nice. but it was really funny. Um, so now I feel like I got to do it. Ordinals, I'm late to be be first anything, but I want to experiment. <laughs> Punk Ape Strong should should have something on there. I have awesome. some of his stuff as FVGs actually, like his his mm. logo, the 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 uh, B A H C uh, logo. Um, okay. Is, is, I have that as an SVG. I could I could figure something out, but I want to. Okay. Uh, we'll do we'll do something interesting. Yeah, Rankin, let me, let's, let's come up with an, some ideas. Let's like. Well, uh, yeah, the logo some. on your hat. The logo on your hat would probably be a good one. Yeah, that's the B A H C hat um, that I okay. gave everyone. Um, here, I got it. I can I can show everyone. Hold on. Um, if you don't uh, know already, plus actually I have. Uh, uh, I spent way too much ETH on NFTs. I've been trying to hold. Off on. <laughs> <laughs> Listen, liquidate your bags and come to Bitcoin. <laughs> it's a tax uh, write off. You can say I sold it this what? low. <laughs> <laughs> I'm so positive on a lot of stuff. <laughs> well, I mean, some people what they do is they'll sell. Oh, this dope, this dope. logo I've got as uh, I also have a, a black version, of course. But uh, nice. Uh, that's fine. So that that logo, by the way, I made all the hats for Decentraland for everyone, and then I made a uh -huh. dozen real life ones. Oh wow! When we made the Decentraland ones, my daughter was helping me, and she made me make a one of one pink hat for Decentraland. <laughs> oh man! Didn't tell didn't tell anyone about it. She's like, somebody's going to buy this, and she she listed it for a good amount of money, like nice. over a hundred bucks, like maybe two hundred nice. bucks. Like it was kind of crazy. And uh, two days later, I went to post about it, and someone had already bought it. Already bought it. Yeah already yep. bought it it was it was pretty sick so there's one pink version of that hat that exists oh, in oh. decentraland uh maybe we can do something like that on ordinals too um let's let's, let's think about it do you do one at a time is there a way to batch create some or or you purposely... yeah so we we so that's our mvp we gotta allow batch but there's another site that you can batch on let me get you that one let me see that's going to be ordinals cool. no bad. no worries uh we'll we'll find it we'll find it after the fact but um, we only got a couple minutes left here. Uh, Rankin, what should we hit? Is there any questions or thoughts you have on on all this stuff? Uh, what what should we do? By no, the way, I'm what totally should we name this show? <laughs> should we just call it like blockchain hang session or something? Hang sesh? Because uh, that's the, the language I always use is let's have a hang sesh with this person or that person. Uh, um, yeah, we, got, we were saying blockchain blockchain brunch to add in the food connection because uh we're gonna change the world uh through through uh through food pretty soon and nfts uh what, oh, what nice. do we call this what do we call well, this? Blockchain web3 three, web three family break. blockchain web3 three three fam i mean we got nft.family so there's a connection there web3 oh, cool. fam uh that's true by the yeah, way, what would you cool. hey if you owned the domain name nft.family what would you uh what would you put on it NFT.family. I will put things that 
attract families? Like, what do families like? Pictures, you know, trips, funny things. Um, I saw, I think it was on Shark Tank, where this guy, the company was selling potatoes. You could put a message on a potato. Oh, that was funny. Um, that was a good one. Yeah, I think was, just funny, was... just fun things, families. Family, family, NFT yeah. stuff. Yeah. All right. I'm, I'm roping you into that, too. So, just <laughs> so you know. Let's do it. All right. We're doing potatoes. I, I think maybe it can be a community thing, right? Where I own yeah. the domain name nft.family, and then we just start building different mm. things, right? And everybody has different things, right? Like that are family friendly, yeah. NFT That's good. Uh, experiments and campaigns and things, right? Like our food one can fit under there, but like people have other ideas. Maybe we, I open it up to allow people to be a part of the community in some way or some kind of something like that. And then That'd it be just cool. becomes almost like a directory of family friendly things, but maybe we we make it like a collective or a DAO or a, everyone owns a piece of something, right? Like we make it its own LLC or something. I don't know. We got to think about That'd it. That'd be cool. I think it'd I be like pretty it. fun. It's global needed. family, huh? <laughs> what was that? We, it'd be the global family. That's well, right. It's, it's a global family. <laughs> I think, you know, in a borderless world uh, where we're, we're all about it, inclusion and peace and uh, prosperity family. for everyone, right? Yeah, yeah. We just do a bunch of really cool projects that make the world a smaller and better place and make everyone like understand that we're all, we all have the same we're needs. We all want we're the same things. Right? Exactly. Yeah, that's it. That's it. That's it. Until, that's you know, we, then we're eventually we'll have to let in the Galactic Federation. We won't all be <laughs> human anymore, but, but we're all. They're here. I would I love to that's be right. able to ask that. That'd be pretty good. <laughs> That's right. Comedy Remember when I, hey, I, I said I said this when everybody talks about things like the havings priced in, the havings not priced in, the this is priced in, the that is priced in. I have called a tweet it. from a few years ago. <laughs> yeah, I called it. I always call it. Um, uh, um, and uh, my my favorite, one of my favorite tweets of all times is at one point I said the Galactic Federation is not priced in. And so, like mm. once once a year, I repost mm. that one because that's important. Not that's as often dope. as I say called it. Um, uh, uh, but it's, uh, I think that's, that's just a funny one. That's pretty awesome. They so want your Bitcoins, uh, <laughs> the space team. <laughs> that's right. They're going to, they, they, they want something, some anti-inflationary currency, uh, uh, currency to deal with humans. Uh, <laughs> you know, they don't, they don't want to buy this, uh, this, Fiat. these dollars is fiat paper money uh, that's right all right so uh uh bit savage where can everyone follow you um we didn't oh normally i put it in the bottom like i did with ours but i let Let's i see. didn't edit yours but uh at bit savage right on twitter is bit sabador <laughs> s-a-v-a-d-o-r so sabador yeah i'll grab it i'm an inscriber Ah, so you changed it from Bit Savage, but isn't it at? Oh no, no, yeah, okay. So you had changed it at some point. Yeah, change it. Yeah. Cool. I can edit your thingy so people can see that um, below. Uh, um, below oh, cool. Bit Savage's thing, but um, becoming an influencer. <laughs> influencer. Um, that's cool. And uh, so, so follow, follow Bit Savage. We'll have him back to talk about um, uh, uh, 0625 or, or, or is just called Ordinal 0625? Yeah. So the company, you know, the brand is Ordinal 625, our first collection, Spirit Miners. And we have a strong team. We got great, great brains coming together to build and have fun in this space. Heck yeah! This is this is awesome. Uh, welcome, uh, welcome to the NFT family. Um, that's it. Thanks for having me. Yeah, I appreciate. <laughs> we have, to, we have decided. Um, I know it. it's uh, sto stoked to have you on. We'll we'll have you back. Uh, we'll talk. We'll talk more NFTs. Thanks nice. everyone uh, for watching. Um, remember, go to dgb.vc if you want to pitch us and and hang with us. And and um, if you didn't catch it live, just follow us on uh, on LinkedIn or connect with. Uh, with David Rankin or I on Twitter, and you'll nice. uh, you'll you'll start seeing these when we do them live, and you can participate live or watch them later, whatever you want. Or LinkedIn, um, we're also on LinkedIn too. Yeah, on LinkedIn uh, is is a great place to watch it live. You get alerts when we go live and all that too. Mm. 
and then um, tell us what we should name the show. But I think we actually should for real and, and not, yeah. not joking, actually name it at some point. So let's, yeah. uh, let's do it. Um, all right, guys, it was great to see you. Uh, see you all soon. Peace. All right. Peace.